Hello, my name's Tracy, and today I'm joining you from home in East Sussex. I've been baking since I was a teenager, and the thing I love to do most is bake cakes. So today I'd like to show you some simple but effective ways of decorating cakes that you can use when you hold your great British garden party. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you today is how to pipe rosettes onto cupcakes. We're going to decorate two types of cupcakes, one with chocolate butterflies and the other with bumblebees. So let's give it a go. I'm using a simple buttercream, which is double quantities of icing sugar to butter. The nozzle I'm using is a rosette nozzle, which this particular one is a Wilton 2D nozzle. When I ice my cakes, I like to put a thin layer of buttercream over the top of the cake. I just feel it gives it a cleaner look, but you don't have to, it's your choice. So when you start to decorate the cake, you need to hold the icing bag upright in the center of the cake. And you need to use a medium pressure to push the icing out. So we're going to start in the middle and we're just gonna slowly take it round, round. When you get to the other side, just give it a quick flick. There you go. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make these chocolate butterflies. These are made by piping chocolate onto greaseproof paper and folding the paper up. You can use uh, plain chocolate, milk chocolate, um, for the coloured, the pink colour, I've used some candy pops, but you can use white chocolate that you can put food colouring into. So let's have a look at how we make these. So if you take a piece of a strip of greaseproof paper, fold it in half down the middle, fold it back out again. So I've melted some plain chocolate here. I just put it into a sandwich bag and I've taken a tiny, tiny bit off the corner. Um, so what you do is you pipe on one side of the crease and you just squeeze gently from the bag. You need to just make sure that the bigger, the top part of the wing is bigger than the bottom part of the wing. Just have a look at some of the pictures online of butterflies. Take it around there, take that back up there. And that's like that. So next I've got my pink color and I'm just gonna squiggle in the middle like this really. Fill that bit in. Like that. Or you can do, let's do another one. So again, we're taking the, uh, making the top part of the uh, wing bigger than the bottom bit. You can fill it in like that if you want. Just make it a bit more. You can do that. Fill it in with the pink. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold this other half back over and we're just gonna really, really gently press down. It's a bit like, remember those pictures that you used to make as a kid when you were in infant school and you used to paint and then you folded it over and then the other side would come out with the same pattern. It's exactly, exactly the same thing. So next thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to give it a body. So we're going to do an antennae there. Take it down the middle. And another one up there. The next thing you have to do is just leave it to dry, but you need to leave it propped up against something. And then you just leave it to dry. So then when they're dry, you can just put them on your cupcake. 
Next, I'm going to show you how to make these really cute bumblebee decorations. Um, and then we'll also have a look at this honeycomb decoration as well, which is made out of chocolate. So you need two lots of fondant ice in black and yellow. This is readily available in larger supermarkets or you can buy it online. I'm going to, I'm going to use the yellow first because the black has a tendency, the colour comes off on your hands. So just break off a bit, which is probably about the size of a grape. Roll it in your hands. And then roll it backwards and forwards like that so you get the shape of a bumblebee's body. I'm just going to take a tiny bit off there actually. Roll it again, backwards and forwards. Um, I'm going to be using flaked almonds for the wings, but if you're allergic to uh, nuts you can use white fondant or have a look for anything else that you think might be suitable for and I'm just going to have a look at that to make sure that it's the right sort of size so that's fine so I'm going to make two of those because we decorated two cakes earlier so maybe a tiny bit more so roll in your hands backwards and forwards like that until you get the shape of a bumblebee's body so I'm going to put those to one side and we're going to make the stripes. So if you take your black fondant and roll it out. So we're going to make a couple of little bottoms actually. Um, I'm using a nozzle, the hole in a piping nozzle to cut two smallish circles out. Um, and then if you take a sharp knife, you can cut the stripes. So we're going to take the circle we made, put it on, give them a little bottom. and this one as well. And then we're going to take those stripes and we're just going to um, put that around the body. We're going to give them two stripes each, I think, and just pinch, wrap it round and pinch it underneath. Wrap it round, pinch it underneath just to take the excess away. do the other now I've bought um, in larger supermarkets again you can buy cake pens so I bought some cake pens I've got a black one here I'm just going to give them a couple of little couple of little eyes just like that The last thing we're going to do is we're going to give them their wings. So let's put them in either side. There we go. Oh, one. There we go. So we're going to take the cakes that we decorated earlier, put them on like that. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to just make, uh, put some chocolate honeycomb decorations on. So what I've done is I've melted some white chocolate um, and I've taken some bubble wrap, which I've washed well and dried. And I've just spread the melted chocolate over the bumpy side of the bubble wrap, put it aside to set, um, and now it's set. You can just break off some shards. And then we can just push that into the cupcake as a decoration. Let's do the other one quickly. 
Todd. There we go. There's your bumblebee cupcake. The final thing I'd like to show you today is how to decorate a cake with edible flowers. You can find edible flowers in larger supermarkets, you can buy them online, and you can also take them from your own garden. The best way in which to find out which flowers are edible is to have a look online. On my cake, I've used dahlias, cornflowers, lavender, borage, and also some herbs such as rosemary, bay leaf, and oregano. So let's take a closer look. So when you've got your edible flowers together, I tend to set the flowers out on something that's the same shape and size as the cake that you're wanting to decorate, just to use it as a template really. So you can set them out and work out exactly how you'd like the cake to look. So I've just got a board here um, and you snip the flowers off, the heads of the flowers off, and then you just start playing around really, putting things down, working out the way the colours go together. Uh, just take your time, play around, see what looks best for you really. And then when you've done that, when you've decided you like the way that it looks, then you can transfer them onto the cake itself. Just transfer them flower by flower in the same way as you've set them out. So if we just have a look at the one that I have made, you can use all sorts of ways of decorating it. So I've done mine in a crescent here, but you could do it all the way around the edge. Um, you could do it in the center. You could do a strip down the middle. Just play around with it and see what you like the best. And then I've just finished it off with some buttercream rosettes and decorated it with some dried flower petals. Anyway, enjoy. So I hope you found some of my tips useful today and that you've got some inspiration for decorating your cakes for your garden party. Thank you.